Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a picture with your camera on your Windows 10 or 11 computer. And this is actually really easy. So what we want to do is go on down to search right here and type in store and go to the Microsoft Store. Now you may already have this application on here, but we can go to the top and go to search and go to camera and search for this. And we're looking for the Windows camera. So I have it located right here. I'm going to select this. This is from Microsoft Corporation. And go ahead and get this onto your computer. Otherwise, you can just go to search down here and just type in camera. And this should pop open for you. So there I am. Let's make this full screen. Now, if you've got a capture card or something hooked up or you got multiple cameras, in the top right, you see this little picture flipper. We can flip this around. And you can see Live Gamer. Uh, Ultra is plugged in right here. So if it says no signal or something like that, just hit this button in the top right. You should be able to get a picture with your camera on that. So you can see me in here. I have video on the side, then I have picture. So it's able to detect my face. There's a box around me wherever I move. And all I have to do is press the picture button to take a photo. So a picture was then taken. Now, another thing that you could do is hit print scan on your keyboard and it's going to go ahead and just freeze your picture, but then you can go ahead and just copy over anything you want. So I do that a lot. So I'll just hit print scan, copy the picture and then paste it into like messenger or maybe like a phone link or something on my computer so I can send it over to someone real quick. Now in the bottom right, let's select the camera roll. And there's me looking pretty darn goofy, hey? So I can zoom in. I can rotate. And then I got trash can. And what is this one? Crop. And then here's some uh, different options for photo documents or the whiteboard. So we have an option to share it. So go ahead and find something you want to share it to. Then here's the three little dots. We can copy it. Right click on it, copy it, or open folder. So open a folder would probably be an easy way just to see the file location. And this is where it's uh, just default stored on my computer. It's under this PC, Windows C drive, users, Timothy, pictures, camera roll. So I got some other pictures in here too, like this one. I'm blowing a kiss. And I did a video on here of me talking. So if we back out here and we can go to pictures, let's see what I have in my picture. So looks like I have screenshots. So a lot of times I take screenshots just with print scan on my computer. And let's see, I got some right here. And it's just easier to just copy it over real quick. I let print scan, copy my picture, go to messengers, copy, paste, boom. Otherwise, you can just hit the right click on your mouse and then you're good to go. So yeah, this is a really easy application to use. So if we go back now, we have video. So we can take videos under here. Then they have documents. I haven't used this so much for the documents or the whiteboard yet. And then we have barcode right here. So this one doesn't work. I always get some sort of error. And then we have HDR on the left side. So we might want to turn this on for more accurate, better colors. And then we have a photo timer. So we got two seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, and then timer off. So let's just try a two second timer and see the countdown. So the countdown is literally just a little circle in the center screen. So you can see it. It's not going to be numbers popping up on your screen, unfortunately. Then let's go to settings and just go through the settings here. I don't see anything really too great with the settings, but we do have like a grid we can turn on. That's kind of nice, a framing grid. Uh, golden ratio, crosshair square. Here's the photo settings, quality, and we might want to change the quality at some point. This is only three megapixels, and that seems like it's the the highest quality. Now maybe it's dependent on your camera. I have a camera. What is it? The C920 Logitech from like 2015 or something. This camera is like ancient. I should probably upgrade. And then we have the default settings, and then we got photo settings down here. Okay. And then we got uh, video settings, video quality. I don't even have options for uh, 1080 at 60 frames per second, unfortunately. Then we got flicker reduction, 60 hertz, 50 hertz. 
So if we got some flicker, go ahead and try just adjusting that. And then some related settings down here. We can try uh, experimental features. So yeah, this is a nice little application just to have if you have a camera on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and just go into here and start taking pictures. But hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. Did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.